viewers and welcome back to the self-made auto channel we're back on the 2014 subaru this is the forest it's a big 2.5 in there chain drive so we're going to take and go on and keep trucking here we're going to do some spark plugs but we have to get the air cleaner assembly out of our business so we're going to have to get this little guy off Kind of gingerly turn them with a screwdriver so you can get it underneath it. Prime up and out, and there they go. And then this should come right off and out of your way. Get the rest of this mess out of the way. We're going to unplug the mass airflow. Now it comes down to the side of the air box, and there's a little Christmas tree there. You got to push the tabs in on to get it to release. Usually you get it with a flat belly and screwdriver, or just pull it till it breaks one or the other. And that wire will pop loose on you. Now we should only have to unhook it from up here on the throttle body. And typically there's something right here, but uh, it is missing on this vehicle. There's usually a push nail retainer there. I right, see it's MIA. I'll wiggle that off, there's one fresh air hose right there we're going to have to maybe get some pliers for. Quit being a wuss, could have took that right off. Come on. And pull the whole thing right up and out. And from the looks of it, this little mouse has been busy. So we chewed all right through that little sucker. So we're gonna have to get them a new air filter. It did not chew through the carbon filter, which is good, because that way it's not polluting the world. We'll take the rest of the air box out. I gotta get me a 10 mil. And you come way up under here. And you crack this one loose. Usually once it's loose, you can spin it out. And then there's one more down below that we have to get. And this will just give us a bunch of room, hopefully. Get the spark plugs out. They sit kind of low in these cars. Be a little bit of a pain in the hoo-hoo. I always drop this like every time. Ugh, not this time, fella. We'll get us an extension and a 10 millimeter. And she's way down there. Let go. Let go. Get rid of the bolt or you're going to lose that. And then, well, I'll be darn. I thought these little things just popped right out of here. And do we got a quarter turn down there? What is that? Yes, sir. Ah, the baby is born. So there it is. The whole shebang is out. Of course, we've got to empty all the mouse bits out of it. Well, that's what it looks like. So that frees us up on the passenger side. Now the driver's side, you don't have to pull the battery, but if you don't want to go crazy and you want some room, take the battery out of the way. It's just a whole lot easier. We'll get our J-bolt set that way. You won't lose it. Loosen up that side. Battery terminals off. It only takes a few minutes to get this out of the way. It saves a whole lot of messing. It's got the shorter J bolt on the inside. So leave that attached to the bracket. Oh, she comes. And the arrow on the tray points forward towards the front of the car. That uh, big open hole down here. Let's see, what are we going to need? Looks like a 10 mil. Our power steering hose, we're just going to kind of very gingerly set that up. We have to unplug our coils. Two 10 millimeter 
headed bolts. I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. I'm a little guy that can unplug our coils. There's one. Now they are retained there at the back of the head. Let me get a pick so I can get the other one off without the casualty because there is a wire retainer on them. Let's see if we can't just flick that one open. Give it a little push. Push, push, push. Keep on trucking. And out she comes. Okay, so both of those are now unplugged. Can't really mess them up. Boy, them suckers are tight. Really retained right there. I'm gonna get a 10 mil something or other here. Let's find one of our fancy wrenches. Brought to you by Top Tool, not a sponsor. Fantastic tools. I wish there was a Top Tool truck. If there was a Top Tool truck, at least I believe Top Tool is from Taiwan. I believe they're quite popular with other tools such as Stall Wheelie over there across the pond. And I'm here to tell you, if there was a top tool distributor here in America, it would bankrupt Mac and Snap on these. Their tools are fa absolutely fantastic quality. There's the brand. Look for somebody that sells them online. You cannot go wrong. And do not be deceived by the price because they're relatively inexpensive for what they are. Checked into the company a long time ago. I believe they own their own metal foundry and stuff like that. And there's one. This one's not going near as fast as the other one. Set that down a little bit. Come on. I can feel you getting loose. So there's two. Now in theory. We should be able to just give these a little wiggle, a little rotate, and boop! Out she comes. There it is. That's all it is. There's one coil. Wiggle, wiggle. Pull, wiggle, wiggle. Twist, rotate. Reach around with the other hand. And, oh, baby. There she is. That one's out. Look. Nine sixteenths on these little guys. Let's see if we can reach in there with the long one. Oh, we can. I don't know about that back one, but the front one we can get with the long one. We can find some sort of ratcheting apparatus. Not gonna work, fella. So you got everybody all excited. Uh, I am fearful that the inside of my socket will pop out. Top tool, extra long. Let's just go like this. Wow, that is not even the right size. You messed that up. Size anybody think that is? Somebody take a guess. Not that size either. Wow. I suck at this job. Close enough. Let's see if we can just crack this one loose. Because I, like I was saying, if I pull out my spark plug socket, I'm thinking that the rubber from the middle of it will be stuck on the socket. And then we try to stick something else in there. And the whole thing turns into a Chewbacca. So we're just going to do it like this, at least for this one. And then we'll come up with a plan B. Always have to have a plan B. In some cases a C. I've actually gotten to F before. If I'm being quite honest. Now obviously if you take your coils out and they're right full of oil. Oil around the coil. That's not good. In that case you're going to need to do some valve cover gaskets so these are the factory should be NGK laser iridiums and they are look at that fancy focus focus there we go 70 70 some thousand I think Subi recommended these to be done at 60k if I remember correctly we'll get a spark plug installer so we are installing OEM Laser Iridium NGK is not a sponsor. These have a Iridium tip, and of course you cannot use your regular spark plug installer because they don't work. The plugs are too skinny. We're going to grab a 14 just because it's handy. And go back in this way. Now taking the other ones out, we can use the rubber inserted spark plug socket. 
really making quite a, quite a project out of this, aren't we? Hooray. Wow. All right, back to rubber inserted plug socket. Let's see if we can go straight in on this one. And we can't. Let's get a swivel or a wobble head. So these are little wobble extensions. And lo and behold, this one is not mine. Mr. Josh must have took this. Because that is a wobble plus, which I hate. I hate that style where you push on it and it locks. Let's go raid Josh's box. Ooh, he's a thief, so I just found mine. So these are wobble without the plus. So you can push on them and they don't lock. Let's see if we can get in there now. Oh yeah, slips right in. And I feel it on the socket or on the spark plug. Crack or loose. Once you get it off the seal, it usually spins out relatively easy by hand. Usually. Usually I find when the ratchet doesn't have enough traction on its own to reset, then, then it's time. Okay, but now we have to have some kind of screwdriver to get our ratchet back out. There we go. It helps if you use your angry voice when you're talking to your tools. Now she comes. So there's that one. Now if we're looking at these to have it tell us a story, sing us a song. We really can't because I drove it in, didn't ever let it warm up or anything because we had to fix the exhaust. So remove the sleeve. And what do they put down? They put platinum on the ground electrode, the upper one. So you can see that little chunk of platinum. And then laser iridium on the center electrode. Wow. Fancy. So then we're just going to switch back over to our regular socket. And very gingerly slip it in. Letting the metal tube guide us. Careful not to drop it. And then start it. Just start it by hand, obviously. No power tools. Hey Josh, you took my extension. I took your extension? Yeah, it's a little three inch wobble. You got them lock and snap on ones. You know what I mean? Oh, oh I wonder where I got it. I found it in your box. <laughs> I'm not calling you a thief or anything. We're just getting it. Dragging it out to the light here. Oh, okay. So yeah. I, I put yours back over there. Oh, appreciate it. Oh, okay. Well, then you, so you you had took mine. No, you took mine. Oh, well, then I, you, yeah, you took mine. That's how we're. Oh, that's how it goes. Okay, that's how we're going to work. That's how it's okay. However, it turned out your okay. fault. Well, I did take that screwdriver of yours too, not too long. That's right. Time, so. Yeah. Hey, as long as you come looking for it, then I'll give it back. Otherwise, yeah. Okay. I'll be over to scour the rest of your box later. Okay. Torque to factory specs, bada bing, bada boom. And then let's get some uh, goo to put in the end of these. We're going to use some liquid wool wrench, dielectric grease. Don't go overboard with this stuff, folks. Get a little bit in the tip, and just like so. Make a good weather tight seal around there. them back in just like so and I think <coughs> what I would do is the for the cylinder in here what cylinder is that is that two probably is that bank one I think don't hold me to it we're going to plug that in before we bolt it down. That way we have a little bit more wiggle room because like I say, it is fastened to the back side of the head and we'll get it lined right up. 
and give it a click. And we might as well do the front cylinder here also. Well, we have some wiggle room. And that's clicked right in. So that's a piece of cake. Then just put your bolts back in. I just sound like Scotty Kilmer. Just what you really gotta do is put your bolts back in. Change your transmission and bolt it back in, and that's it. Now we can pick that guy. He's a good fella. my house. Put our power steering hose back down. I did order us an air filter from Napper. Hopefully they're on the way. Oh, this side looks a tad bit snugger. They're way down in there. Battery cables right in your way. But you can see if the battery was here, I'd be like, oh, the battery's right here. But we're not. I'm whispering because I'm very close to you. If you're wearing headphones, I'm whispering for you. Oh, that just got weird. So let's come into the front of the connector here, if we're able. Maybe we'll go to the back. Maybe we'll get a different style pick. We'll just lift up on it a little bit and then push back a little bit. There's that one. Put that one down. I don't even know what you guys can see because I'm not looking at your faces right now. Open up that one a little bit. At least they don't have some kind of silly lock. You know if Chrysler built this thing, it'd have like six red locks on it and you'd have to know the combination. And we're gonna push on that, push on that. Yo, what's up, dog? What's up? You bring my air filter, son? Yeah. Where's it at? That's my boy Josh from Napper, not a sponsor. He's our delivery guy. Nice kid, real nice kid. I just gave you a shout out on YouTube, Josh. Oh, yeah. Shouted you out. Alright, there's that. They're unconnected. Ah! What? You think I'm over dramatizing this? Yeah. I'm not. Josh, you are on super tight. Super tight, huh? Not for a big guy like me. Oh, yeah. You're so strong. I know. Thank you. No problem. I'll let your meatloaf. Never says anything. I don't I've ever heard him talk. He's a nice young fella. Anyhow, where were we? It's a spark plug video. I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible. Now I've bought, I want to say in the past, I've bought in Napper air filters for these Subarus and I don't think they fit well, if I remember correctly. I think it's this style air box where I end up buying an OEM in the end. I could be wrong, but if I remember right. The Napa Gold did not work like you think it should. I'm gonna get my little pick behind there. Give me some leverage. If I had a big enough lever, I could move the world. There's that one. There's that one. She got her pop. Oh, it's tight back here. Oh wow, this is like a tiger. That ought to be fun getting that one out. So there's that one. I'll back to whispering again. If we're whispering like people are gonna think we're up to something. Can we go in there. Ooh, that one slips right in. That one's nice. That'll be easy. Oh wow, didn't even use full ratchet insertion on that one. Who's still watching at this point? I wouldn't be, I'll tell you that much. I feel like this guy's a psycho. Who sits in their shop talking to the camera? I see some kind of nut 
time job. He fears public speaking. Yet he speaks to tens of thousands each day. Here comes Josh. Ah, spank it on the butt, a baby is born. There's that one. Looks like it still has all of its precious metal. Oh, Open up our new NGK. Remove its sleeve. Use the non-rubberized socket. Guide the tip of it into the hole until you feel it touch. And then twirl it around. And you want to make darn sure it starts good, especially with the wobble socket. You got to be kind of careful. You don't want to be making your own threads. Even though that is better than Loctite, it is not suggested. I don't believe NGK would endorse that either. Not that they're endorsing this at all anyways. There's that one. Now I don't believe... Negative, negative, negative. We're not getting in that one. What we're going to have to do, this is where it gets a little trick. Insert your socket into the hole. You have to and then we got to get our extension in there, get that plugged in. Oh, you're trying to be tricked on me, ain't you? Ooh, there we go. Oh, I think it's in. Okay, now coming out, you got to do just the opposite. You got to pull out your pieces. Makes it a little trickier. Not saying it's impossible. It's just a little harder. So we'll get her cracked loose. Just where we think we can spin it by hand. Probably right about there. Can you guys see? I don't know. You're just going to have to trust me, folks. Take our ratchet back. Ooh, I barely get my fingers in this one. Mm-hmm. Why are they so long threaded? When I was a kid, they only had three threads on them. I need to take a break. Okay, this is where it starts to suck because we need to get our extension back. So we're going to hold our socket with a pick. Okay. And then we're going to push and then we're going to retrieve our extension. Now, you're like, is it over? No, it's not, Eric. Because now you're going to get a flexi magnet. And you're going to come in the hole. And you're going to get your socket back. Why? Because it's yours. And it has a spark plug in it. And you're going to bring that out at an angle. Whew. Should have had some dramatic music playing. There's that one. Wow. So now we're faced with the challenge. Box opening. There it is. Sleeve removal. Everybody loves a good box opening video. Now the question remains, how are we going to insert it? Well, just like we took it out, fella except more carefully, inserting it into our non-rubberized socket. Very carefully coming down. If there's any spot for dramatic music, now's the time, I'll tell you that. Uh, where's my little extension? Let's see if we can reach down here with this and just tickle the end of it. Started. 
this. Okay, that's green. That's green. That's really good. Now we come into the longer one. I'm actually getting a little sweat on my brow. I'm gonna line up the peg here. Oh, I heard it. I heard it and I felt it. is going to plug in. Oh yeah, nailed it. First try. With these wobble extensions, you have to kind of hold them straight, particularly on spark plugs, especially with a socket that has no rubber insert. You do run the risk of cocking your socket sideways and cracking the porcelain on the plug, in which case it'll ultimately result in an immediate misfire. And you'll have to buy your customer another $14 spark plug, which we're going to try to avoid. There she goes, she hit bottom. Now, back in very carefully, get your ratchet back, first and foremost. Why? Because it's yours. You deserve it. And then secondly, your extension. Because it is also yours. Oh wow, I can't see anything. Oh, I'm ready to give up on life. What do you got going on over there, Josh? Well, I'm trying to find the location of the battery from that red floor. Is she hiding? For Uno Momento, we're gonna take our coil same as we did on the other side. If anybody's still watching, a little dialect. And then I think we will elect to do the same thing we did on the other side, where we plug them in prior to bolting them down. Because I think that's the smartest decision to make. It's not the smartest decision you'll make in your entire life, but it's a good one in the moment. Oh yeah, she slipped her right on me. I think you're gonna see the back of my head, maybe, for a minute. Wow, suck at this. We're always so close and personal, you and I. the only person left watching at this point. That's okay. There's always got to be that one guy. That one guy watching the other guy work. You know who you are. The guy does this all day, then comes home, gets on the YouTube, watches some more of it. His wife says, why? Why are you watching that when you do that all day? Really, he doesn't even know. Because you're obsessed, that's why. I don't watch too many mechanic videos on the YouTube. Recently, what have I been watching? I've been watching a lot of long range shooting videos. That's had my interest. And, uh, watching some hand loading videos. Keeping up on the latest techniques. Not much has changed in that industry. 
that is something I enjoy doing other than working on cars I just picked up a new 6.5 Creedmoor working on my load development for it so far so good if you're wondering I've got some pretty low numbers on my extreme spread and standard deviations Snug these up. Is this thing even recording? It is, I guess. That's a plus. We're done. No, we really know we're not because, first of all, we have to see. Now, I don't know, with all the seeds stuck behind the mesh here, which does not seem to be penetrated, what you can do, short of buying a brand new outer airbox hat from Subaru, there's nothing you can do. So just get past it, okay? Forget about it, as they say. And that is just a... Oh, it sounds like he's got a really tight mold over there. As long as we don't hear that noise followed by a snap. I'm gonna bang this on my palm like so. Give it a little blow, knocking most of the stuff out. And I believe this is just carbon, a carbon filter to stop those pesky hydrocarbons from sneaking out into our environments. Didn't my boy bring over the air filter? Your classic 9012. Uh, we probably shouldn't touch it with our grub mitts in case we end up sending it back for not fitting properly. Let's grab a hanky. There she is. Glory. So it seems to not want to go that way. And it does seem to go that way and fit nicely. Perhaps there have been some design changes recently. Because I remember before when these would go in the box and sit down all the way, maybe it's the advanced auto ones, that they would not seal across the top. Stick our lower half in. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. Look at this. Clack. Don't talk about it. short. Where is it? <coughs> 10 millimeters sorry. Where did you go? I thought I was going to fall in that category of guys who always lose their 10 millimeter socket. I've already got that badge, folks. I do need another one, but I did find it. So we're going to stick that bolt in there. Wiggle it around until we find it. And I think we're right on. Uh, that you can see, or that my camera angle is useful. I'm just gonna run that one in with our fenders. And then we're gonna stop right about there. Ten for ten, tip for tat. Where are we at? I'm gonna fix this. Rubber freight packing blankets make great fender covers. Not a sponsor, but they do. Just FYI. Miss. Oh yeah, first try. 
then we need our wrench. Today we'll be using the SK X beam wrench. People ask me how I like them. Uh, a viewer sent them to me, which I'm eternally grateful for. They're very nice wrenches. I will say the very first one I touched, I broke. Uh, the ratcheting mechanism's all jammed up on it. It doesn't work, so I'll have to send that in. Must have been a defect because I've used the other ones and haven't broken any of the other ones yet, thankfully. Because that would be some mad advertisement. But it was my 3 8 What did I do with it? I stuck it on a brake leader. And I cracked it loose and then that was the end of it. She ain't it never worked since. I even tried quacking it on the bench. But something is clearly wrong with it. It's, uh, oh, you can see it in it. Something in the ratcheting mechanism broke. But we don't use American ones too much. Stick your fresh air hose back on. Line her back up on the throttle body. And as I mentioned in the first part, there should be a big donger that goes in there that's not here. We'll see if we have something we can stick in there as a substitute. There's that. We'll line this one up a little nicer than it was when it came in. We'll get it close first. Oh, she needs a little loop. That sounds gritty. What do we got? That's off penetrating oil. How inappropriate is that? We'll see if it really works. Or if it's just gimmicky marketing. Oh, that's smooth. Wait. There's that. And we move that and get the rest of our bits. And yeah. There's that. save that air filter to show the customer because they requested that I didn't change their air filters. So we'll save it and show them. I'm sure he'll be happy. Happy that we found it. And that his engine's not sucking mouse goo. Which kits it in? We don't know. Maybe one of these fellas. First try, I carried down all four kits for nothing. I buy these things on the Amazon because you get them for like a nickel. And then when you use up a slot, I order just that part number online on the internet. It's a powerful tool. <laughs> Stick that in there. It's got a couple little pegs that goes in. All right, there's one. There's the other. We'll have to be ginger with us over here. These things are very delicate, like a lady. Well, I'll just leave it hanging, who cares? And we grab our battery, which we should go hose off. Well, we'll just clean her off when we get her in. Let it slip all down. I can't believe you guys watch this. That seems legit right there. And then we have to get the short side in, which is back in there. There's a hole in the body. In which it goes into. So I like to loosen them up just a smidge more. Don't go doing this across the battery. And we'll find that little slot and we'll get that one in. Hold some little tension on it. And then over here on this side, we have to find our other J hook. There's that one. That goes in the body. You'll see where they go. Pretty obvious. Yes, they hit the floor, hallelujah. Yeah, I just, just, just tricked Mix messes up. Smells like popcorn over here, both, not gonna lie. 
thing you're on to. That's the beauty of the uh, YouTube. You know, I can be here farting, talking to you. Nobody cares. And that J hook came up. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, Josh just walked right into my trap. Didn't even say anything. Didn't even wince. I saw it in his eyes though. I see the uh, strut towers and everything are pretty lubed up also. Let's see who's positive, who's negative. That's not something you want to screw up twice in one day. Just kidding, I didn't screw it up today. Or any other day for that matter. That's something I've never done yet. I have fixed the aftermath of some folks who have and it's usually quite catastrophic old backwards battery routine. No car alarm, please. Nope. Now your Subaru, when you unhook the battery, will not want to start the first go around, but if you just hop in it and leave the key on for a minute, and then shut the key off, and then it will start right up the second try. Or just crank it extendedly the first try, and then let go of it and try it again. There we go. A little shot of the film. Now we're done. Reach in and start this pig up. Take the wheel. We're gonna take the crank the key on. We'll give it uno momento here. I believe it goes through a throttle relearn procedure, perhaps. I don't recall specifically. We're gonna shut the key off. Wait for it to quit humming. Back on. Folks, that's it for changing the spark plugs in your Subaru. Uh, it probably goes across a lot of the newer Subarus, you know, Prezas and Foresters and such, 2.0s, 2.4s, two, or 2.5s rather. I guess they're probably all about the same. A little snug getting in there with the right combination of spark plug sockets and extensions, you know, it's easily doable. I do like my little wobble extension, but as I mentioned, you got to be careful not to, you know, cock it off and break the spark plug. So there's always that. If you think that you're going to, a little free tip Friday for you, take a little electrical tape, wrap it around the outside of your spark plug socket so when it goes in the spark plug tube, it fits the hole a little better and keeps you from getting all cattywampus there. I'm going to keep on moving. We're going to go do the front wheel bearing. If you want to see that video, click over here. If it's on the screen, while you're waiting for that, go down there, leave a question, comment, criticism, concern. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.